Hello everybody and welcome to episode 12 of Benjamin Shams. Tonight I was going to do another movie but I decided to push it forward to another night because I wanted to do Star Trek uh, Into Darkness because it's my favorite Star Trek movie and Star Trek premiered 55 years ago on Wednesday which was uh, September 8th of uh, 1966. So I wanted to do my favorite movie from the franchise which came out in 2013 and it's called Star Trek Into Darkness. This sci-fi action adventure drama was released in the United States on May 17th in 2013. It was released earlier in Europe so that way the European markets can get a chance to, to get into it and really enjoy the movie and then it was released here for us. Um, a quick synopsis of the movie, of this two hour and a 12 minute movie, is it's set in the 23rd century and Captain Kirk is set off in the USS Enterprise with the crew and the USS Enterprise, the ship that they actually use to travel around to do uh, scientific exploration. Well, the um, Starfleet Federation, their bosses essentially told them that, hey, uh, we want you to get off of your science and your uh, discovery mission that you're originally set on, and we need you to go pick up another. We need you to go pick up a fugitive of justice by the name of John Harrison. So the crew go off to get him. So the cast includes, in this awesome movie, Captain Kirk, who's played by Chris Pine, the one and only Chris Pine, you know, that great guy. Uh, um, Commander Spock is played by Zachary Quinto, which everybody knows who he is as well, too. He's absolutely amazing in everything that he does. And Commander John Harrison that they go to get is played by the one and only Benedict Cumberbatch. It was directed by J.J. Abrams, and there were three production companies that, that did the film. Bad Robot Productions, which is owned by J.J. Abrams. Um, Skydance Productions and KO Paper Products helped produce this movie. It was distributed by Paramount Pictures. Um, it cost $190 million to make this film, which I'll tell you about later on in, my, uh, in one of the things that, uh, that's a fact about it, a fun fact about it. And it grossed $467.4 million. So the movie did absolutely amazing with what it did in, in its record sales, or in its not record sales, but in its, uh, in its sales. Ticket sales is what I meant to say, not record sales. Uh, two fun facts about the film is that uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, he auditioned for the role of John Harrison on an iPhone. Uh, his screen test was done on an iPhone in his best friend's kitchen. It was kind of done like on the fly. And this cat like nailed it within the first within the first screen test, which I thought was absolutely amazing. And that budget that I mentioned earlier of $190 million, that was the most that was ever spent on any of the films in any of the series. And it did really well. And it was worth every single penny that they put into this bad Oscar. Um, the, one of the reasons why I like the film so much is because, of course, it's sci-fi and it's... Um, and it's and it's it's sci-fi, which I absolutely love, and the fact that it's um in Star Trek in the in the franchise, I wasn't really a fan too much. I liked um I liked the Next Generation. I love that, um, and I love Voyager, of course. Um, but uh, this movie made me fall in love, and it made me go back and watch all the other movies as well. So it made me like you know get up off my hiney and go in and watch the other stuff and see what I was missing. And I'm glad that I went and saw the other movies. Which is a great thing, and um, I've actually, I've, i when I, when I go out with, when I used to go out with, with geeks and nerds, which I, I hope you guys like that, but I love them too. But when I used to go on dates, um, I would play this movie, and this is like my little movie to play on a date, and I absolutely thought it was great. Like we would watch the movie, or if we'd both had already seen the movie, then we would talk and like and discuss and like have it on as background noise. But it's still a really great movie. It's absolutely worth your time. It, like I said, it's two hours and twelve minutes long, but you one hundred percent don't feel it while you're watching this movie. So that is it for my show today. I just want to thank um, J.J. Abram for you know bringing up this idea to get this movie done, and for everybody that was in it, for um, Benedict Cumberbatch and Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto, and um, Zoe Saldana is in it. She's absolutely amazing. Like this, the cast and crew is absolutely phenomenal and amazing, and it's worthwhile watching. And you won't even know that you're spending two hours and twelve minutes watching it. I promise. If you give it a shot, you'll love it. So that's going to be it for today. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a great movie out there. So if you like this episode, please click like right around here. And if you want to subscribe to me, which would really be awesome for me, just click subscribe right around here. Um, and make sure to follow uh, Zachary Quinto on Twitter. And, and you can find him at Zachary Quinto, which is his name. And it's Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y-Q-U-I-N-T-O. So you can make sure to follow him on Twitter to keep up with him and his zany antics and all the great things that he does. He's a really great person. So you guys have a great night, and I will see you next time. Bye.